Hey everybody, it's Merlin here, and I'm going to be doing an episode review reaction to the most recent X-Files episode. As you guys know, I've been kind of excited about this, big X-Files fan, so it was great to see the fans support after all these years finally come out with the continuation, so it's kind of interesting to see how this is going to resolve ultimately. But it takes place basically after the last movie, so the X-Files have been closed down for a while, and Scully and Mulder are kind of off doing their own things, but they're in touch. We learned that apparently they got married and had a kid and something kind of bad happened with that. Don't know exactly what's going on specifically. But Mulder and Scully get approached by this TV host guy, kind of like Bill O'Reilly, who, even though he's really right-wing, he really believes there's a lot of heavy conspiracies that need to be revealed. And he's actually followed Scully and Mulder's work with the X-Files, so he goes and shows them some of the things he's figured out. And he's discovered that, based on evidence from the Roswell crash, the government has actually had the ability to develop some technology that works based on alien findings. And they actually show him a ship that actually works, that they've been modeling based on those plans. So it's something like right out of Independence Day. And they also meet this one girl who claims she's been abducted by aliens, and they were performing experiments with her. They were injecting her with alien DNA to create some alien-human hybrids. That's based on some storylines before. Uh, also, a lot of callbacks to earlier storylines. And, of course, uh, Skinner's back. That's always good. So, apparently, he's still with the FBI. And Mulder believes that a lot of the evidence that he revealed throughout the series, uh, a lot of the stuff he discovered may have just been a lot of misdirection and that possibly there is no real alien conspiracy with humans, but there is this upper echelon elite of human beings using alien technology to stage this takeover of mankind. And they were just kind of showing this whole conspiracy with other aliens just as some elaborate way to throw them off. So it, there was a lot of information kind of thrown in there. And it felt kind of, uh, I don't know, it felt like there was a lot of stuff they were trying to cram into this episode. Because they want to introduce you, you know, if you're an older fan, to some of these things to recap. As well as establishing for newer fans trying to get in. So I felt like the getting used to having Mulder and Scully back, even though it feels like they really never left... There was some character stuff they had to get out of the way first and then build into the main plot. I like the fact that it's trying to, as usual, have some commentary on the situation politically in the world right now. And a lot of that's reflected through stuff that is exposed that Mulder talks about, which is kind of the standard X-Files way of doing things. Of course, at the end of the episode, uh, even though there's strong evidence to suggest certain things... All the evidence is destroyed, people are disappear or killed, they shut certain people down. Uh, standard X-Files 101, <laughs> business as usual. But with the new evidence supported, Mulder and Scully decide they want to go dive back into this and try to stop these guys. So, in that sense, it really is a continuation of the X-Files and still trying to be its own new thing. Now, I will say, one thing I actually really liked that I wish they would have delved a little more time into was the whole... A subplot which took place in the past with the Roswell crash. There was this medical officer there that found the alien there that had been injured, and he's kind of the deep throat of this particular episode. He's the secret guy behind the scenes that Mulder meets with now. So I wish we had seen a little more of his storyline because that stuff was really interesting. I like that little bit of Roswell from 47. I thought they did well. I think that obviously Duchovny and Anderson have great chemistry and they've stepped back into these characters like they never left. I feel like this episode was really more of a character piece for them, seeing where they are, where the relationship is. So for all you fans of the romance, there's certainly some tension there. But, uh, you know, it feels like there's something that we've missed out on that I'm guessing they're going to expand on in later episodes. So I'm really interested to see where that goes. And to be fair, those characters are really one of the main things that's held this series together and allowed it to come back, and one reason it's so popular. So I understand it being character-based, all the plot stuff, it's like it's interesting, and I think there's enough there to get you back on track, but there's just so much they pile in there. It's like, it, it doesn't have, it didn't have quite the steady tone that a lot of X-Files episodes did, where they had a little mystery, they kind of went in with the evidence, and they slowly revealed things. It felt like there was just so much crammed in, but once again, that's kind of understandable because you're recapping stuff that they haven't followed these characters for, for years, essentially. Overall, I thought it was very good. Uh, I thought the ending was like... The ending was kind of funny for me because I'm like, yeah, this is typically the way an X-Files episode goes. Uh, you know, so it's true to form. But it was also frustrating like a lot of episodes with the mythology stuff is... You know, it's like, okay, so they've found some actual proof of this stuff and uh, it's, it's not going to matter. It's like, uh... It's just kind of annoying, like, so the show can keep going, but... I don't know, they had, they literally had so much evidence, more than they've ever had before, and it just doesn't matter. 
Uh, but even so, I thought it was pretty well done. I thought the effects were really good too. And one little touch I thought was great. You could tell this is just so much nostalgia for the fans that they're just diving into. And they obviously Chris Carter has a lot of knowledge of that. But even the original opening, the the opening for the show is the original opening from years ago. It's the same opening. They haven't changed a thing. They have not changed a thing. They have the same old cheesy little effects. The guy falling into the abyss, and you know the the little stills of the UFO, and <laughs> and they have the same the same credits basically with them walking through the door. So. I don't know. I, I kind of hope they give it a little bit of an update, but I mean, it was, you know what, they don't really need to, because in, like, until they had a new cast uh, in the last couple seasons, they never changed the uh, intro anyway, but I thought that was a nice touch. Overall, I thought it was a very good episode. I'll have to really reflect on it before I give it, like, a definitive grade. I think it's one of those things you want to judge this little mini series as a whole before you judge this one, but I thought it was a pretty good start. Uh, maybe some minor issues, but on the whole enjoyable. I think it did what it needed to do. And I'm still excited for future episodes, so I guess I'll probably get another reaction to you guys out tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. So if you haven't gotten the X-Files, do it now. And if you're a fan watching this again, let me know your thoughts, where you think this is going. Uh, a lot of stuff revealed, uh, and I hear there's going to be some good episodes. I saw a featurette, so I'm pretty excited. All right, everybody. What's my thoughts on this X-Files return first episode? And I'll see you later. Stay magical.